Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to answer the question of whether or not you can use wireless internet with a Honeywell Vista security system. And the answer is you can, but you're going to need to use an Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge to make it possible, and the panel is going to have to be set up with an IP communicator, an AlarmNet IP communicator. Um, so the Honeywell Vista system, it's, they're, they're a series of hardwired security systems. Um, some of the newer ones in, in the lineup, the Vista P series, if you will, can support Total Connect uh, 2.0, depending on if they're on the correct firmware version or not, the high enough firmware version. Um, and when you use an IP communicator with the system, it typically uses um, a hardwired Ethernet connection. It always uses a hardwired Ethernet connection. Um, so I'll, I'll go over the ones that focus on to, that, that can use Total Connect um, today. I'll focus on those mostly. Um, so the Vista 15P and the Vista 20P, they need to be running uh, firmware version 9.12 or higher to use Total Connect. Um, a Vista 21 IP needs firmware version 3.13 to use Total Connect. And a Vista 21 IP LTE, that's the new Vista 21 IP system, the Vista 21 IP LTE, it can use Total Connect on um, any firmware version. It's that new. You wouldn't need to make an upgrade. And as far as making um, an upgrade, a firmware upgrade on a Vista system, that would be by replacing the PROM chip. You'd power the system completely down and remove the PROM chip from the center board um, and put a new one in. Uh, we sell PROM chip replacements on our website if you were needing one. Um, now, of course, you also need a, a communicator to get started with the system. Um, and ex some examples of communicators, um, there's the Honeywell 7847i. That's the 7847i. Um, that's an IP-only communicator. Um, it's just going to give you internet access um, uh, for the AlarmNet servers. Um, other two options are the Honeywell LTE IA and the Honeywell LTE IV. Uh, the LTE IA and the LTE IV are dual path communicators. Um, they use uh, cellular communication, but they also use the hardwired Ethernet connection. So the 7847i, the LTE IA, and the LTE IV all use that hardwired Ethernet connection. Um, now, the, the reason it's important uh, to get your panel connected to the AlarmNet servers, um, that's how monitoring uh, service is facilitated. Um, if the panel goes into alarm, if there's a trouble condition, um, it forwards the signal to the AlarmNet servers, and then um, that can be passed on to Total Connect 2.0. It can be passed on to um, the, uh, the central station, um, so you can get alerts. Um, you can have automatic emergency dispatch if you have central monitoring station service. Um, so getting your panel connected um, to the network is very important, and IP represents one of the most popular ways to do it. Now, um, usually, like I said, these systems, they use um, uh, hardwired Ethernet connections. Um, the Vista 21 IP, already has um, an IP communicator built in. Uh, we have a Vista 21 IP right here, and uh, that's the Ethernet port, actually. Um, so that's where you would connect an Ethernet cable. Um, if you have a Vista 15P or a Vista 20P, or even if you had a Vista 10P that's you're not using a Total Connect, but you're just using for monitoring service, um, you would have to add an IP communicator if you wanted to get it connected to the, um, the servers for IP communication. Um, and like I said, those are the, I mentioned three communicators earlier, um, and they all use a hardwired Ethernet connection. So what you would have to do is you would have to run an Ethernet cable from your IP router to the panel. Um, and depending on the location of your IP router, that might be difficult. Um, you might need to fish some wires through the wall. Um, it might not be very DIY friendly. So that, that can be a turnoff for some users. Fortunately, there is a way to overcome this issue by using an Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. Now, what this will do, um, you will take the Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. I actually have an example of one right here, and I'll, and I'll talk more about it in a minute. Um, but um, it has an Ethernet port um, right, right on it. Um, and so you would connect, uh, uh, you would use an Ethernet cable and connect this to the Ethernet port on the panel's communicator or on, in the case of the 21 IP or the 21 IP LTE, right to the panel itself, right into the Ethernet port or you know, to the Ethernet port on the communicator, um, whatever you're using with your system. And so what this is going to do, um, the Ethernet cable is going to go from the panel to the Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. And this is going to connect with your local um, Wi-Fi network um, through a, a WPS setup, Wi-Fi protected setup. And then your panel will essentially be on wireless internet. It, it will still have the hardwired connection between the panel and the Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge, but it's going to be onto your Wi-Fi network and it'll be able to connect with the AlarmNet servers. Um, 
just by using something like this. Now the one I have here, I also have the box for it um, so you can see it a little bit. Um, this is the Alarm.com ADC-W110. Um, it, it was built for Alarm.com cameras that use power over Ethernet. Um, but it actually, ha it's quite versatile and it has some pretty good applications. Uh, you can use this with really any device that um, uses a hardwired Ethernet connection for connecting to the network um, and have it connect wirelessly. So you'd be using Wi-Fi instead of having to run a wire all the way back to the panel. I mean, you can just imagine it's a lot easier if, if your IP router is in a completely different location than your panel, then you can just have um, your panel connect to this and then this will take care of the rest. It will connect wirelessly to your IP router and it'll, your pen will be connected to Wi-Fi essentially through this Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge, in this case the ADC-W110. Now I do want to mention one last thing. Um, if you intend on getting your system monitored and connected with um, the AlarmNet servers and connected with Total Connect, you will need an alarm monitoring plan. Um, now since you're using um, IP service, if you're, if you're not using cellular communication, then you, um, any of the alarm grid plans will do it. You don't need a plan that includes cellular. Uh, that can save you some money if you're not trying to go cellular. Well, cellular is more reliable, and we, we do always recommend it in case of, a, of an outage, um, but um, that is an option. Um, and one thing I, I do want to mention, um, you, you might want to consider getting backup power for your, um, your Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. You see this plugs in. Um, if it loses electricity, and this is the only way that your system is connected, um, that will take your system offline and you know that you could run into problems. So um, you really might strongly consider getting some battery backup for this, just like you have battery backup for your system. Um, so battery backup for your Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge and probably battery backup for your IP router as well. Um, your, if your router goes offline and you're relying on IP connectivity, especially if you don't have that cellular backup, you need that, that well, you really, we're not gonna say need, but you really should have that, that battery backup to keep your system running in the event of an electrical outage. So, so, so that's an Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. Um, that's how you can connect your Vista system to wireless internet. Um, instead of having to run an Ethernet cable from all the way from the IP router to the panel, which could be difficult, um, th this is a great option. It works really well. It's easy to use. Uh, this is the one we recommend. Uh, there are other Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridges out there. Um, so if you want to do your research and find one, feel free to, but um, the ADC W110, great one to use with a Vista system that's using an AlarmNet IP communicator. So uh, if you found this video helpful, please uh, give it a thumbs up below to like the video. Um, you can subscribe to our channel to get future updates on any videos we will do later. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, be sure to send us an email at support at alarmgrid.com. We're happy to answer questions about our monitoring plans or any of the products on our site. And check out our website, of course, alarmgrid.com. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.